to everyone. So um, today I wanted to do a tutorial for you on, yeah, this side doesn't have any makeup. On um, this look right here, it's, um, my camera's not really picking it up, but it's a very dramatic look because of the contrast. I love looks with contrast. So it's like a white kind of iridescent lid with really dark crease. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I would love to film videos where I could show you my whole face, like me doing from beginning to finish, but I don't know how to edit yet, so um, I already did like my foundation and my blush and my lips, so I just need to do the other eye. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to pin this side back so it doesn't get in the way, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab Max Cream Color Base in Fantastic, and I'm going to apply that from the crease up to the brow bone. Just simple. Just so it's something for the eyeshadow to stick to. Next thing, I'm going to grab NYX um, Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil and Milk. And I'm going to pack this onto the lid. That looks crazy, huh? <laughs> okay. So, now I'm going to blend it out with a finger. So, with the Jumbo Eye Pencils, you want to blend them out and make them a little like, um, like a thin layer or else they'll crease. So if you mess up, just kind of wipe it off and just want to blend this out into the Fantastic. Don't take it up too high. Just mostly on the lid right here on the outer corner. Okay. So now that's all blended out. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just have it at least like blended. So the first color I'm going to take is from a MAC palette. What do I do with it? Oh, uh oh, hold on. I left my brush belt and my eyeshadows over there. Okay, so I'm going to take the color Floof, which it's come, it comes in this palette, which is the um, Intense Eyes palette, but Floof is actually a permanent color, so um, you can just grab it. And then it's just a fluffy um, brush. It doesn't even have a brand name on it. And I'm going to grab that color Floof, and let's see if I block you if I do it this way. And I'm going to apply Floof somewhat heavily all over the lid. So I would fast forward through this part, but <laughs> I don't know how to edit. So I'm just going to apply that. I'm just patting and then kind of blending. Just make sure you get it intense enough. You want the lid to be really light. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is take a fluffy brush. This one is by MAC. It's a 217. I'm going to take the color, I think it's brown down, no, dark edge. So I'm taking dark edge, which I'm not sure if it's a permanent color, it's from the Tempting um, Quad. And I'm going to start putting this in the crease. In the crease, blending it kind of upward. You don't want to take it too high, but you do want it to come up a little bit. And blend it. And when I'm doing my makeup, I check in the mirror a lot just to make sure that everything's even and I'm not like continuing while it's looking really weird. So I'm going to start taking it from this edge right here and bringing it down into the lash line to create that kind of V, but I'm not doing a really sharp V, it's just still that like effect. So, I'm going to keep doing that, building the intensity that I want, kind of extending it, and then dragging it upward so that it's blending. So it's starting to get that shape that I want. And then I just check both eyes together to make sure that they're coming out even. Okay, so the next step is to use the same brush and grab a little bit of a darker um, brown 
almost like brownish black color almost. The one I'm using is Smut, which is in a palette, I'm not sure if it's permanent, but just a very dark um, blackish brown color. So I'm going to take this and this is going to go more just right into the crease. You're not really going to blend this one up. I'm going to kind of stay concentrated right here in this outer V and the crease right here. Right there in the socket. So keep building it. You do want to blend it a little bit outwards, but you're not going to take it as high as that other color. You just want it to look blended and make sure that you're getting the same intensity on both sides. So, right now I'm just checking to make sure that they're even. And I really like to use my finger to kind of clean off little areas that are not as even. Grab a little bit more. Make it a little darker. Okay. So, that's good for right now. I'm gonna, I always check several times to make sure it even, so I'll check it later. I'm gonna grab my highlight, just like a um, natural looking color. I'm using Next to Nothing, which I don't think is a permanent color. It's from that Tempting Quad. But just any, um, like, neutral highlight. This one has a little bit of shimmer. Definitely not glitter. It has a little, little bit of shimmer. I'm just putting this right under the brow bone and kind of blending out that darker color. So now do you see when I did that, it made this part lower? So I'm going to have to go in and add more of that dark color. So now that I'm done adding my highlight, I'm going to go in with that 217 again if I can find it. And I'm going to grab a little bit of that, um, oh, sorry, dark edge. I'm going to put it a little higher to match the other side. Grab a little bit more of the, um, right into the crease. At least for me, makeup is like really a process of like going back and you know, looking and checking and then making your little changes, your little alterations. You don't have to get it perfect the first time. You just tweak it until you have it the way you want. Okay. So, I think that's good, because this one's going to look darker once I put the liner on. So, I'm going to stop there for now with the eyeshadow. I'm going to grab my liquid liner. This is from e.l.f. It's only a dollar, and I love it. And now, it's time to line the eye. So... This liner is going to come in pretty far, but it stays thin on the inner corner. And then on the outer corner, this one gets thicker. And we're going to do this little wing effect. Just drag it out. And then I bring it back in. This one's still thicker. Okay. I think that's even, from what I can tell. I'm 
I'm not blocking. I'm just gonna make this one a little darker. Just fill it in. Okay, so like done. Now I'm gonna go in with an angled brush, just anyone. This one's a no name brand too. And I'm gonna go in with smut. And oh, that's not my angled side. Oh well, I'm gonna use the flat. The flat side. You're just going to Okay, I need my angled side because this is hard. So angled side with some smut. And you're going to darken this side up underneath. You're only gonna bring it about halfway. I really like doing this step. I think it makes my eyes look like more like big and wide eyed and Okay, so after doing that, um, I took some white eyeliner pencil and I put it on the waterline. If you have a like cream colored pencil, I'd recommend that, but I don't, so I'm gonna use white, but sometimes white can look a little bit harsh. So bring it all the way in, all the way around. Oh, look what I did, I smudged. That's not good. Take that off with a brush. Nope. Oh, there we go. I need a little bit of Okay, I'll fix that later. <laughs> Let's just continue for now. I'm dropping everything. Okay, so I did that. Um, next step is mascara. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes. This is just a Revlon eyelash curler. I actually don't have my favorite eyelash curler on me right now. I'm taking a little sample of Fresh, the Fresh Brand Mascara. I got this in the, um, that thing that Sephora comes out with. Like, it's like the lash sampler. Just do a very generous coat. And then the bottom lashes. And then the top again. Okay, now to take off this smudge I made. I'll grab a little. I'm just going to put some concealer under both eyes to kind of clean it up. Okay. covering up some spots with the extra concealer I have. Okie dokie, so take this down. This is the finished look. It really does not look the same on camera than it does in person. Let me see if I can see. So that's pretty much it. Sorry if the camera's really wiggly, if the lighting's terrible, if I'm not, I don't know, as um, articulate as I should be. But um, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Uh, if you recreate it, definitely send me a re video response because I want to see 
your interpretation of this look. So, um, I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye!